This is a podcast all about me. Your best, best, best friend, Max Gillardi. There's some other guy too, but you don't need to worry about him. He's probably gay. What a faggot, what a loser. No one likes somebody. Daddy, daddy, daddy. Hey, hey, welcome to Two Weisenheimers, episode six. How are you, Max? I'm uh, 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 Electric Yellow has me by the brain banana. What, what what did you say? You heard me. No, I really, I really, I heard blue banana. <laughs> blue banana? Yeah. That's, that's... Yeah, that's what I said, blue banana. Oh, cool. Well, me too. Me too, guys. Today we have, we have a great show. We have tons of content. We have interviews to conduct with, with many, many men, many important men. We've got Barack Obama. No. Wait, we have Barack Okama? We have Barack Olala from Mortal Barama Kombat. Barack Okama in, in the studio. We're going to be chatting it up. We're going to be saying, hey, where's where's the change? Yeah, he said like, all all his his thing was like, change, 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 changes. And then he was like, not yet. It's going to take a few years. And I'm like, Maybe he was talking about his diaper. Haha, <laughs> because he's a baby. <laughs> a black grown baby that's right and that's your president not mine I didn't vote for him I, I think that that still makes makes him your president I guess yeah so we've established that Barack Obama is is the president of the United States of America a mirror okay oh I, I have some troubles with the with the C words like cat where you mean? Where? Where? Okay. Okay. So this is the joke of the day. I can't say the word C, although I did a few a few times by now. Probably, yeah. Cool. So this is going well. We we, we I think we got on a good start. I think so some people must be giggling, at mm. least giggling, at least giggling. Minimum a giggle or two. Maybe we should start into the content of the show. <laughs> what content? I have nothing. I think I have one thing written down. And what is it? Uh, let's see. I need to open Word because that's where I keep my uh, my my Word. my my stuff. You, you don't we use, use Word. People that don't that don't have a Mac. Okay. Well, I I was editing my my really good and um, f- f- best video. You Tom enjoys Sex in the City too, which is on YouTube right now. YouTube at sexinthecity.com. dot com. And when I was working on that, I used After Effects to edit it, and it kept crashing. So, so, so I twittered that it was crashing, and then Adobe sent. Me, can you stop moving, Max? Moving what? Can you stop moving? You're rustling around like like a little baby there. I'm sta- I'm sitting completely stationary. No, you weren't. You were breathing and huffing and puffing. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, you're right. So, so. <clears throat> Adobe sent me a message going like, "Sorry, you can go to the forums and blah 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 blah." And I, I kind of felt bad because you know I don't, I didn't actually buy the program, and they're still being nice to me. <laughs> yeah. So that was kind of awkward, and that's all I have. Plus, if the program is flat, is crashing, then what is a, going to a forum going to help? Yeah, they're just going to scrutinize me for not buying the program. They're going to go like, "Hey, so you have a CD key? Yeah, give me your CD key. Yeah, hmm, <laughs> yeah." What advice could a forum possibly offer you? Yeah, like stop get, crashing. Get a faster computer. Yeah, although my computer is really fast, you you should look at my, at my my stats. They're pretty pretty intense. If you say so. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. I I thought that would impress you for some reason. Never mind, you don't. Have nope. To. Okay. Oh, I'm not gonna disagree. If you say you got a sweet computer, then I believe you. Oh, well, I got I got a new like uh, box for it, and it's like see-through, and there's red and purple LED lights, and it's like I'm in a party only in my house. Yeah, I know what you mean. Oh my god, I'm getting a phone call. Oh, it's just a text. Let's see what it says. Sorry, <sighs> personal. Sorry, personal guys. Sorry, it was personal. So yeah, guys, I have a cell phone, so yeah, I'm pretty rich. I heard you have two bathrooms in your house. Oh yeah, I do. They're both tiny, though, so... 
Who cares? As long as both of them have toilets. No, they don't. One of them just has pictures of toilets. We, cons right. we consider it a, ba a bathroom for some reason. Is there a bath in it? Nope. Pictures, just so pictures of... So it's a picture room? A bathroom picture room. A p uh, pictures of bathrooms room. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's a better name than just calling it a bathroom. That might be misleading. Because, you know, my, my friends come over all the time and go like, Dude, I gotta pee. I'm like, oh, go to the bathroom. And then they're like, what? There's just pictures. And it's really awkward. And I go like, oh, it's okay. The other one's good. And then they just pee on the ground. Well, no, my friends aren't donkeys. Okay, so <laughs> please don't. Is that what, when I say peeing on the ground, the first thing that your mind jumps to is donkeys? Yeah. Is that bad? I don't know. I think it makes sense. They pee on the ground. Well, I mean, all animals pee on the ground. Yeah, but they do it in an like, impressive way, man. Except for humans. So it's like... Or except for an animal that lives underwater. So it's like... You could have literally named any animal that is not human and doesn't live underwater. I don't, I don't, th I don't think, like, if I said a squid then it would have had the same impact. Well, a squid doesn't live on a squid lives underwater, you dingle. Oh, I I, com I completely like Mr. Point. By the way, guys in the chat, we're not reading the chat as we're doing the show, so th there's no point in talking to us. We're ignoring you. You guys are here to listen and shut up and laugh. Okay? So laugh. Tell them to laugh, Max. Tell them to enjoy. No. Tell them to enjoy the podcast. This is a serious show. This is a serious drama. There will be no laughter at all. Oh, this is going to be a special episode of Weisenheimers? Yeah. What is it about? Tonight, what? on a very special the Man. president will die. <laughs> That's pretty dramatic, I guess. Oh, yeah. I'm going up against you for, for the school counseling. For the school counseling? Yeah. That's you want to maybe uh, rephrase that in some way? Let me, let me think about it for a second. I, I might not know how to rephrase that. Give me a second. Do you mean school count counselor? Yeah. Uh, honestly, mm. I would have, I would imagine that that would be a job that they would give to a faculty member as opposed to a student. I think I'm. Um, I think I'm talking about something else. I mean, like the mayor of the school for the cool kids. And he'll go like, we're going to give president. you longer breaks, and we're going to give you longer pizzas, and we're going to give you longer, longer bathrooms. Pizzas. Longer pizzas. Yeah. All right. yeah because, you Class know, president is what you're yeah. thinking of. Everyone wants longer pizzas. Do we have pizza more? <laughs> it's from Home Movies. Check it out, homemovies.com. Is your pizza too short? That's all. I'm, I'm not going to go go on with that. I'm going to take a sip. Nobody likes small slices. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't get people that are into like really thin pizza. What's up with that? Some people like it thin. Some people like the deep dish stuff. Mm -hmm. I like somewhere in the middle. Because when it's deep dish, it's like almost a pie. A pizza pie. Well, it, it very literally is a pie. That's why they call it pizza pie. Well, I guess I didn't know that. Well, what you don't know could fill a warehouse, so... What kind of warehouse? Uh, a large one. Like for for lawnmowers or just like appliances and tools? I don't know. Well, you should think about the warehouse you put my thoughts in before you... <sighs> How are you doing, Max? You don't sound well. Are you sick? I am sick. Oh my god, what's wrong? And I wasn't going to mention that, but since you brought it up, I'm sick. We're not talking about my sickness. That's not topic for dis for discussion. Now, what's the next thing on the agenda? I have, uh... Did you watch the parody of Mickey the Dick? Uh, I did. Well, you, you showed it to me. Yeah, because I know you never visit Newgrounds, so I thought I, I, I'd send it to you. Yeah. Well, what did you think about it? Uh... Meh. You wanna, you wanna go go through it like. What did you think about the audio and the and the visuals and the gameplay? Not no. really. No. 
Look, we, uh, look, we can just boil that story down to uh, to the simplest elements. If you go on Newgrounds, there's a wacky game jokes thing that I didn't make, and that's all you need to know. So go check it out. If you like wacky game adventures for babies, but mm-hmm. you don't like, but you don't like me. <laughs> I don't think it's for people that don't like you. I like you, and I, I still sort of enjoyed that animation. Well, I'm glad you like me, friend. Yeah, you're you're a good bud. If I was there, I would I would climb on a small chair and put my put my hand on your shoulder. What did you think of it? I thought it was fairly amusing. It was dumb, like any sort of parody of that nature. But I don't know. I thought it was silly. I wouldn't mind someone doing that for Nameless. Nameless.org. Please, someone do that, because. That series is dying. Well, yeah, because you don't make it anymore. Yeah, well... I make the new Wacky Game jokes every Yeah, well, who cares? Week. Yeah, who cares? Whatever. Obviously, someone cares because they're making Wacky Game parodies. He's just trying to ride your wave of, of success. And by success, Maybe. I mean, like, mild success. <laughs> well, you know what? Where's your success? In my pocket where I keep my money. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm rich, so so fuck you. He's rich, check it out, rich.com. <laughs> my face is on there, you can see me and my hoes, my money, my, my bros. Me in a jacuzzi, me on an airplane, me, in a, me on, on, on an airplane playing golf, in a, on a train, anything. Yep. Max, did you watch Inception? I didn't, so don't give me any spoilers. Oh shit, man. There's like, the... no. <laughs> oh, okay, well, I don't want any spoilers. Yeah, well, I tried to watch it last week, but the only like the first row was open, and we're like, nah, that's too bad. So we went again this week, and then only the third row was good. So we just watched third it. Row. The third row. Third not... row. Not not a, not. A, I mean, like in seats, seating wise. So you paid for a ticket, and then you went in, and you saw that there weren't. The the seats weren't optimal, and you left. No, 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 no. They let you know beforehand. Oh. Yeah, we got computers here with pictures of tape of seats, and you go like, "I want that and that and that." That seems a little unnecessary. How come? Why? Because what I do is I go and I buy my ticket, and then I go in and I say, "Okay, where can I sit?" Oh, there's a seat. I'll sit in it. The end. Yeah, but then. First of all, why are you going to watch movies by yourself? That's, hmm. Think about that. And and second of all, I'm sorry. Like Se- second of all, <laughs> <laughs> second of all, I don't know. It was never like that ever. Well, here. I you know what? Different strokes for different folks. D- different seats for different countries. I guess. Yeah. So I think our method is much more, uh, makes more sense. No, it seems to me like it's a waste of time and effort. I don't understand why you have, to, why you can't just sit anywhere in the theater. Because you want to get the optimal seat, and if you order it ahead, and you don't have to show up like 30 minutes earlier, and then grab a seat and just like stare at a stupid screen, at a dumb screen, a retarded screen. Yeah, but why does it matter where you sit? Because the fucking first seat is awful and the sixth seat is fine? Come on, man. I don't know. Like, if I go... Like, obviously, I don't want to sit in the first seat either if I have a choice. But if I go in and there's only one seat and it's in the front row, then I'd say, well, I guess I'll have to take it. And I would just sit down and I probably wouldn't give it a second thought. Yeah, and if a guy would come up like and say, like, oh, you're in the first seat, you also have to, to, to fondle me. You would also do that because you, you're, a, you're a pushover. No. Yeah. I don't understand how you've reached that conclusion. And that seems a little unreasonable. I know you. I know you, and I know that you you fondle men. No. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. So I guess you don't fondle men. That's. I guess. I guess you're gonna deny that, although we talked about it before, and we all know the truth. Hmm. Good times. So that's pretty much all I had so far. Do you have anything? Nope. Anything interesting happened lately? Nope. 
Well, we did 20 minutes. That's not too bad, I guess. Yeah. And by 20, I mean 17. Mm. Uh, I guess we'll just go to emails, read about zombie apocalypse. I'm sorry, I'm in a bad mood this week. I'm very oh, no, sick. No, it's okay. It's okay, Max. I appreciate you trying. I really do. Everyone, guys, be nice to Max. He's really trying so hard. He's being a real big trooper here. I knew you were going to say that. I knew it. You knew I, I was going to be nice to you? I knew you were going to use the phrase trooper. Why, why do you have to call me out like that? I don't know. That wasn't nice of you. You know that, right? <sighs> <laughs> really? Really? Uh, what? Uh, mm, not amused. Uh, mm. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. Hmm. Okay. This is from Toby Hernia. Toby Hernia? Oh, I don't know. It's Herni, but Hernia is funnier. <laughs> That's when all of your guts go into your balls. Yeah, you know, it's... Yeah. That's why... That's... Uh, it's no good when that it. happens. Oh, no, it's not. But you know, Actually, you... Hmm? I think the definition of hernia is whenever any organ ruptures the wall that contains it. So it's not necessarily just that. Oh, good. Because I was scared. Because balls, you know, that's sensitive. But that is that is one of the ways you can get a hernia. Yeah, like if you lift something really heavy, your balls just... Yeah. Like that. It's not, that's bad news bears right there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Trust me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why do my arms keep falling off every day? Shut up. Just, oh, my God. This is, a, this is a bad start. This is a really bad start. Is um, that all? Wait, is that all that it says? No. Why do my arms keep falling off every day? How come my toes have teeth? And do you like carpets? <sighs> Next email. <laughs> Oh god, this is getting I awful. People just I think are... now they're just trolling us. Yeah, I feel like they're just like trying to upset us and they're winning. Well, not upset us, just make us mad. Uh hey you're Tom and Max. I drawed a shitty picture for you. Best fishes I And you can you can see the picture in this stream sort of. It's me and you and we're yelling at each other and we're both gross looking. <laughs> We won't be yelling at each other today. No, today we're gonna kiss and we're gonna make up. We're gonna be no, nope, no kissing. Oh, why? Why are you always against kissing? Cause that's for 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 women to do to men and also other women, but not for two dudes. Oh, <laughs> I love that now we have unlimited listeners. And how many listeners do we have? Forty nine. Yeah, yeah. This is. I, th I think it's because I'm, I'm also I'm lagging horribly. Apparently, apparently everyone's complaining about the lag. Why? Are you I lagging? I guess my internet isn't doing uh, very well. But I don't really have anything to do about that it. Sucks. Well, I'm gonna get a new internet in like a month or something, okay? And You're I'll going have... to get a new internet? Yeah, I'm gonna build one. I'm gonna start a new internet. It's gonna call be called www two. Internet two, check it out. Everything, everything is is cat related. The cat, the catternet. Catternet, and it's it's gonna make me. It's a startup. I'm testing it out. It's gonna go very well. <sighs> oh yeah. Oh. A question from Cedric Tulliverlayer. Cedric the Entertainer. I love black people. Yeah. Not really. Whoa. That's weird that you had to mention that. Question for you, Tom. Do girls think it's cool to be uh, to being able to play some ukulele? Or is it geeky and stuff for them? You play the uke? The uke? Uh, oh, don't, don't message me. I don't care that it's not working. I don't care. Don't message me. I don't care. People don't hear us. Guys, chat, I don't care about you. I don't care. Shut up. I don't it's none care. Of your business. None of your business. Download the show, you nerd. If yo Tom wants to be a freak and sell it on the weekend, none of your business. <laughs> if anyone knows the name of that song, can they PM me? Because I've I heard that song once 
and I never was able to hear it again because I don't know what it's called, but I really like it. Cool. Well, apparently it's back now or something, or not, and it's gone again. Fuck it, guys, I'm, I'm quitting. I'm quitting. <sighs> what are we going to do, Max? This is hard. Why can't they hear us? Because my internet connection is being a, a slow gay mama. A slow gay mama? A gay mom, yeah. They never had any problems hearing us before. Well, I guess uh, something changed. Maybe it's your attitude. Admittedly, my uh, my attitude has changed. I don't see why that would have effect on anything. I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see what they're saying in the chat. Damn oh, it, God. fuck, and it's gone again. Uh, OMG, they use Skype. No. I feel so close to them. I was no. loving that singing. I hate this. Foo, lag, and then commercial. Ah, uh, shut the blank up, Max. Angry face. Shh. Lol. Spazoo. You Max, faggot. Max, it's never good. Well, in, well, on the show you start reading the chat. It's never good. It's okay. Sorry. Let's Sorry. Do, let's just Sorry. keep going on the show and just ignore them. Is that fair? Uh, okay. All right. So playing the ukulele, I think it's gay because it's small and it's very emasculating. Unless you're like really cute. But then girls will like you anyway, so doesn't matter. Bonus content for the viewers, but from Len Poop. Hello, you just said that people who listen to the show uh, live should get extra stuff. So maybe we could have some sneak preview on your games or tunes or something. We don't make games. That's I for do. faggots. I do, but he's, okay. He's a faggot. I stand by what I said. <sighs> Why? Um, you know what? If I was gay... Yeah. Would you, would you still yeah. like me? Would I still what? Like me. No. You have some deep-seated hate for for the, 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 the gay people. It seems oh, like. yeah. <laughs> How come, Max? What's wrong? I was raped by a gay, a gay oh, woman. Oh, oh, a gay woman. Well, that couldn't be too bad. Why? Why couldn't it have been too bad? Because rape, rape affects everybody, even the children. Oh, how old were you? Uh. Seems like it's not a major part of your of your life. If you if you see, uh, you know what? It almost seems like it's a made up story that's not true. Almost. It's almost as if you you were not raped by by a lesbian. I was raped by a bear. Oh well, why would why would that make you? That's the name of my band, Raped by a Bear. Uh, why why would that make you prejudiced against homosexuals though? Gay bear. Oh, it was a gay bear. Oh, okay. It was well, at a gay bar. <laughs> and the bear was <laughs> a gay bear bar. Uh, and the bear was actually like a big burly guy. Maybe. Cool. So. God, I'm, this podcast sucks. Yeah, that was bad, yeah, Max. Was, yeah. I take bad. I take the blame. Admittedly, I am very sick. Mm-hmm. You know, and, when you're uh, sick, you just become an unfunny piece of shit. You know that that's that's a symptom. If you check WebMD, he goes like. I don't know. I thought the gay bear bar was pretty good, but <laughs> you did. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It made me laugh. Okay. Okay. Relationship question from the same guy. I just here we go. I just broke up with my girlfriend. Her name is Maria. She's a wonderful Spanish woman, but her parents won't let me be in a serious relationship with her because I am. In quotes, an American pig, as her parents call it. We both love each other, but I can't because I'm not Spanish. Should I do what Max did and then move away with her? Should I do what Max did and then move away with her? Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. Did you move away not with Maria? No, I've never moved away with anyone. Huh, that's a weird thing to say. Uh, well, what can you do, man? That's like fucking uh, Maria and Lopez shit. I mean, Julia and, uh, and Alejandro. What? M Mario and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet? Romeo and Juliet, yes. That's like that sort of shit, man. Yeah, why don't you guys both go kill yourselves? <laughs> yeah, just kill yourselves. That'll solve everything. Uh, you'll have like a bunch of stories written about you. You'll be real heroes. Yeah. Question from Bill Tremblay. My dog keeps asking why. Uh, 
What's it say? Read it. My doc keeps asking when the new Nameless is coming. Also, what should I do? My mother keeps asking if I can help her fold laundry, but I'm afraid to see her pennies. What should I say? Who cares? You know being what? a baby. Jesus. You gotta help out your mo You have to honor thy mother and father. Yeah. Help. You gotta help out around the house. Yeah, if she asks for... You, you, thy respect, thy mother, thou father, thy... Right? That's a... That's a commandment. That's not how I learned it. Well... But... I learned from the actual book, so yeah. 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 So yeah. Also, it's just panties. Who cares? Might have some blood on them. Who cares? Oh God! Why? What's wrong with a little bit of mama blood? Well, next email. This is from Katie Scott. Shit! 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 Fuck! As soon as you guys started answering my love question, my boyfriend got back from work, and I had to shut it off. I guess I will never. <laughs> huh? What? Sorry, you you robot. Ted. No, keep going. It wasn't important. I guess I will never know how, how to make him want me more. I am super hot, and this sucks. <laughs> Wait, start over. I t shit, 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 fuck. As soon as you guys started answering my love question, my boyfriend got back from work, and I had to shut it off. I guess I will never know how to make him want me more. I am super hot, and this sucks. You can just listen back to the last show. Oh, wait. Yeah, you can yeah. listen to all the old episodes. Yeah, Jesus. There's no reason why you can't. I don't want to though, I already listened to it once, gosh. Just rape him, we already told you. This is from Chianli Manyang. Okay, so my good friend is of four years asked me to asked me out and I said yes. We need to know if you're a girl, I'll assume you're a girl, because her name is Chianli Manning. We've only been dating for a week now and he des decided to drop that he's probably gay. Okay. He's probably gay? Yeah, I don't know what to do. I don't understand why he had to tell me now. I don't think he's gay, because he's dating you, so... I think he's confused. Are you a man? I don't know. I don't know if you're a man or not. If you're a man, then that's good that he's gay. He should be hopefully gay. Yeah, he could get some kisses out of you. And if you're a he woman, gets then... smooches... Then tell him, well, fuck messing with my heart! Yeah, if Girl you're a things. chick, if you're a chick, go find, go, go, yeah, yeah, do that. Okay, next email. I'm sorry you turned into a robot and I didn't want to, to pay attention to it. Sorry. <sighs> this is from Rain Dan. Hello, man. I am a female and want to know what y'all look for in women's. As well as what is the hardest thing to animate? Well, those those relate. <laughs> the hardest thing to animate is probably flames. I want a girl Actually, that's I was gonna say the same hot. thing. Yeah, I was gonna flames. say the same thing. Flames are Fire, hot. smoke, and water. Yeah. The three elements. <laughs> that's why uh, the Earth, last airbender. Fire, wind, was... water, heart, go, planet. Okay, cool. So your powers combined. Max, I, Max, I got a question what? for you. What, what are you looking in a, in a woman, in a woman's body? Um, I think we've already discussed this a little bit. I said that I like girls with really, really short hair. And what are, what, what personality-wise? Well, wait, are we talking personality or are we talking physically? Let's go for personality. Let's, well, let's just cover both so we can cover all our bases. Okay, jeez. Do you want to go first or do I? Go ahead. Well, you know, we already did cover this a little bit. I like girls with, like, super, super short hair. I like dark-haired girls with really dark eyes. And uh, I guess for personality, I don't know. I mean, you have to be smart. I don't want to date a dumb chick. Mm -hmm. that's, my, that's that's my only real... That's all, really? Thing, thing in turn. Well, yeah, because I feel like if you're smart, we're going to get along. Because I get along with smart people. Because I'm smart. I don't know, you can be smart and annoying. Mm, I don't think so. Really? I mean, I don't want, like, I, I, like, I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want her to be, like, a bitch either, but I feel like that almost goes without saying, because who honestly wants to be in a relationship with a bitch? Yeah. All right, what do you go for in terms of personality? I, I don't know, I just, funny. 
feel like when it comes to personality, everyone's going to say the same thing. Yeah. Nobody wants to date a person who's angry and miserable all the time. They want somebody no, who's although some smart, women, some funny, women, and in a good mood. Some men, women will go, I want a man that will provide for me and stuff like that. So but that doesn't have anything to do with personality. Yeah, like alpha male, that's personality. I'm not an alpha male, I'm a beta man. <sighs> I'm a beta man. Yep, yep, yep. So yeah, I, I want a girl who, who will laugh for no one else, and uh, when I'm away she puts the, her makeup on the shelf, and, and yeah, when I'm away she never leaves the ha-ha-ha-ha house. This is from Yasabel Rainey. Wait, were you done with that one? Yeah. I always feel like a like I'm being misogynistic whenever I talk about girls. Yeah, but you know what? Like that. Honestly, it's not like girls don't have their own tastes about like what kind of dudes they're into. Yeah, I went on with two female friends uh, like yesterday, and they're like, "Oh, that guy's ugly." Like on everyone, e even if they don't know him, just like that guy's ugly, and they're not dumb. I think maybe they're... girls are more shallow than guys. They That's what might I think. be. Well, depends. It all depends on the human being, I guess. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Well, I'm speaking generally. I'm speaking in generalizations. Well, stop generalizing, okay? That's what I do. Generally. You should be a general manager. <laughs> general admission. Okay, next email. Over the course of this summer, I've been on the internet for heinous amounts of times. Uh, tell me about it. Oh, shit, my pro procaster just crashed. I don't care, because I'm a man. I keep on making these stupid references to interdom, internetdom, and my family is annoyed, as they should be. What is a Procaster? Procaster is the program I use to, to stream the show. Just ignore so it. So they can't hear us anymore? No, I don't care. I care. Oh, Max. They came for a show, and we're not giving it to them. Max. Max, it's what? back now. It's back now, okay? Can you stop making a, a big D out of this? The live show is better than the recorded show. The live show is the main event. Mm -hmm. Over the course of the summer, I've been on the internet for a heinous amount of times. Uh, I keep making these stupid references to internet memes and such. My family is annoyed, as they should be. I'm more worried about this next school year. However, because I don't want to be making stupid references that know what I understand. Can you give me tips about how to get rid of this ha habit? So I'm not making references all year. Make references that people don't understand, but that references that aren't annoying. Yeah. Make references to Orient, because no one's ever seen that show. Yeah. Although... But it, that's but it won't be annoying because it'll be funny. Well, it depends who you're talking to. If you go like, I just blew myself, people will go like, what? What are you talking about? That's not funny. Mm. You just need to learn how to hold yourself back. Come on, be a man or a woman. I don't know, because he didn't say You know it. what? You shouldn't be finding any of that stuff funny to begin with, because it's not, so... Some of it's funny. Well, you know which one I like. Which one? You know which one I like. Uh, Gee, only... Bill, how come you're all at yeah. G2 wieners? Yeah. I love that one. <laughs> and if you did that all day, I, I wouldn't friend you. I would befriend you. Or defriend you. I'm not sure. With the one that works. Maybe I should start doing that all day. Maybe I should just start saying that. You should just, like, d repeat jokes from Family Guy and you'll get a lot more popular, I promise you. No, that's different. What? Because it's only, it's only good to do if it's funny. And G-Bell is funny, but Family Guy isn't funny, so I wouldn't do Family Guy. Yeah, but you'll get so much uh, popular because it's funny. Shut up. Hey, Max and your Tom, I have some questions for each one of you guys this time. Can you stop moving? Mm. I'll, I'll smack you. Cross your face. I have an ear infection and I'm wearing headphones. Oh, is that my fault? That you're be being a prostitute? Pro prostitution? Being a prostitute gives you an ear infection? Uh, probably. Somehow. Alright. You're a loose woman and you gotta learn how to protect yourself. My God, question... <laughs> so much pain. Good. My question is for Max. Uh, is why don't you like fruit salad? What? Do you like fruit salad? Because I'm not gay. Oh. It's a joke. Oh, okay. <laughs> and if you and your town were super, super br heroes, I thought it said super bros for some reason. Which out of the two of you guys would be the sidekick? Hmm. I'm gonna say it right now. It would be Yotam. 
<sighs> mm. I don't know about that, Max. Yeah, but you know what? Actually, like, even probably... if you just even if you just remove personality from it, when you get right down to it, I'm six six. Yeah, and you're, that, that, that's the like... point. I was gonna say like I, I can't imagine the sidekick being t taller. Right. So yeah, I guess I lost that one. Uh, also, what exactly happened after eating that really old box of Bart Simpson cereal? Uh, nothing. It just tasted gross, so I threw the rest away. It was, it was like you know, eight or nine years old. Obviously, it wasn't gonna be good, but I try it anyway just to say that I did. Well, <laughs> are you proud of that story now? Not really. Good. You shouldn't be. My question for you, Tom, is: Have you ever thought of having a singing career? And is it true that you're a regular guy by day, but at night... Oh, I'm sorry. That question must have been going towards me, and he got the names wrong. Okay. okay. And now you're a kick-ass superhero by the name of Super Peril Beryl. Well, the second thing is it's not true. I, I can't kick-ass, and I won't, because I don't care. About my, my upcoming singing career, no. <clears throat> no, I will never have a singing career. But I will sing a song to you guys, because you guys love you. <sighs> love you guys. I've been watching this podcast live from the start, and I... Well, you haven't watched the first episode live, because it wasn't live, so... <laughs> right? I thought it was. No, first one was just like me and you, and then we I edited a lot of it. Me and you, and you and me, no, no matter how no they toss, toss the dice, I'm okay. sure you'll see. The only one for me is you and you for me. So happy together. Na, na, na. I can't see me be loving nobody but you for all my life. You will see me bathing in the sky will be goo for all my life. <clears throat> Next email. Wait, she's not done. Episode 3 was probably my favorite so far. I wish you guys the best of everything. Listen to your voices brighten up my day. I always look for the next episode. Thanks, Bridget. A moi, a moi, a moi. Oh, Bridget, you know what that means. No. She has a penis. Oh, cool. So, nice penis, Bridget. <laughs> <laughs> this is Domestic Abuse from Michael Norwood. Uh -oh. oh God! Whoa! This is like written like actually well, like it 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 has like the right paragraph placing and everything. Like when you write a space before you start a paragraph. Oh wow! Yeah, dear you, Tom. <laughs> Fuck you. A few weeks ago, I got a cute I got a cute cashier's number, but here's the problem: I'm not a phone person, meaning I'm not made for of phones. <laughs> not made of phones. <laughs> That's funny. Come on. That made me giggle. No. <laughs> yeah. I, get it. I, like I don't even that. get it. I'm not a phone person. You know what that means. Like guys that aren't good at talking on the phone. But he made it, meaning I'm not made out of phones because it's a joke. Get it? <sighs> okay. I prefer face-to-face -face confrontations. I need them to look me in the eyes and see the despair that will engulf her. So I run into her a week later. And she asked why I haven't called her. I replied, I guess I'm just not desperate enough yet. This, of course, was a joke. This started a violent thing. <laughs> Do you remember when a girl you liked would hit you when you were in grade school? Well, she hits me on the shoulder with her bunny fingers, saying with a smile, You're so mean to me. <laughs> bunny fingers? I, I don't know what. Bony, I guess. Sorry, yeah. that was me, probably. Sorry, guys, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not from here. I'm new. I brushed it off and started dating her. These beatings continued. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> You're done. This is a long ass letter. Yeah, this domestic abuse has to stop. I'm losing sleep over the fear of her skeleton knuckles. <laughs> How do I confront her about this? Sincerely, Michael. I like I Michael. Know, I, I like I like Michael's emails. They're probably old jokes, but I like them. Tell her to stop. Uh, you can try and send her knuckles down when she's sleeping. That might work. Or, like, put gloves on her. Just super glue them on. And then, like, whenever she punches you, it's okay, because it's gloves. Who cares, right? Cut her hands off. Murder her. Next email. 
<laughs> murder her. <laughs> the answer to the answer to all of life's problems. Murder, murder her. This is from Brian Malmalufa. Uh, Ma- Ma- Brian Malafalufa. Malumfi. Malumfi. <laughs> Brian Malafalumfa. <laughs> Malafalumfa. Hey guys, I decided to throw another question your way. Here's hoping that this one sparks a few minutes of discussion. Yeah, no, we don't do that. What are some recent submissions to Newgrounds, Albino Black Sheep, etc., that have really impressed you? Well, I can answer for Max. Nothing. I'm the best. And while this may be a, a little preemptive, do you guys have any predictions about the Tank Award so far? I'm going to answer for Max. I don't care because I'm not in it. No, I, I will answer okay, for me okay. and okay, not give that on, answer. Go on, Matt. Max, answer. I'm going to win it. Oh, you are? Well, what's up? What's going up for you, Jerry? Uh, wait, does he mean... Which one Which one does he mean? Does he mean for 2009 or for 2010? I don't know anything about this. Uh, probably the one that's upcoming, I assume. And who's nominated? <laughs> are the nominations announced? I don't think so. I think, like, he's... Well, the nominations are just, like, people that won first of the month and, like, holiday contests and stuff like that, so I don't... Uh, we can't really guess. We sort of right, know. Right, but does he mean... I'm not sure. I'm sorry. But, what, but but when are the eligible... When are the eligible ones taken from? I don't because know. Because if I, if I make a cartoon right now and put it on Newgrounds right now, it's not going to be eligible because it will be on the last one or whatever. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know. Okay, leave me alone. Stop picking on me. No, because they have like the you know they have like the Oscars, and the Oscars cover, you know whatever movie comes which whichever movies have come out between now and the previous. Well, Oscars. I don't know. Okay, Max. Well, Pop off. Can someone? No, no one in will. The, in the chat. No, no one will help now you. I want to talk about this. Why? I'm gonna. T- you know who's gonna be on. It's gonna be whoever won the first uh, winner of uh, every month. The winners from any holiday contest or Pico Day contest, and like some crew picks. Yeah, but it's not like probably from not, like, 010 if, if to some... 011, I assume. Right. So if so, it's the nominations are not announced yet because they 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 don't know what the nominations are going to be yet. Is mm. what you're saying. Mm. Because what if some what if somebody puts out mm. the winning cartoon tomorrow? Mm. Mm. Just, right. Mm. What, what, I'm, what I want well, what I want to know mm. is did they announce the winner of the previous mm. one yet? Okay, mm. I'm trying to have a serious conversation, and you're acting like a child. So Tar-boy, I guess the podcast Tarboy won. Okay, Tarboy won. Yeah. Well, then I'm going to win the next one. Okay, cool. Put Have fun. Way. Have fun. I hope everything goes well with both of you in your careers. Good luck with that deal with oh, your Tom. And good luck with your ongoing award-winning series, Max. Catch you later, Brian. P.S. My last name is pronounced Mul-Lumfi. Mul-Lumfi. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I answered the question, but you didn't. Because I really don't care. I think we, we spent a lot of time on that. and Yeah. Who do you think is going to win? I think you're going to win because you, you're the best, Max. I love you. Mwah. Next email. From Aubrey Wall. <laughs> hey, Max God. and you, Tom. What are you guys' <laughs> She wrote guys' G-U-Y-S-E-S. I'm sorry. I, I pointed. I, sorry. What's your guys' favorite kinds of tea? Are you guys big fans of antioxidants? Antioxidants? Antioxidants. I'm sorry. I don't know what that is. It's just a chemical that comes in different kinds of food like it's in chocolate oh cool I like my tea with milk well, how, what, uh, do you, what do you think of tea I like my tea with milk also next email oh god we both like our tea with milk I guess we should have a tea party me and you oh. on the top of a mountain with a bunch of flowers me and god, you my... holding hands Drinking my tea. ear. <sighs> okay, next email. Games from Airbag Warning. What new games are you excited about? What do you think about the new Soup Meat Boy game? Also, Don't care. What is your Tom's Cat game? 
What games am I excited about? I've been excited for Diablo 3 for like, I don't know, seven years now, but I need to give up on that. Cause... I'm excited for the new Metroid game and the new Sonic game, both of them, not just one of them because there are two new ones coming. And I'm excited for the new Portal game. Yeah, and Portal 2. I'm, yeah. I'm excited for the new Pikmin and the new Half-Life, even though they've announced nothing about them and they haven't even shown screenshots of them yet. But they say that they're coming, so... So... Yeah, so those are pretty cute games coming up, huh? Yeah. Uh, what do you think about the new Meat Boy game? Oh, no, no. Also, what is your Tom's Cat game? It's a game that you you take cats and you kill them and then you shoot their corpses back at them and then there are 25 levels, one boss, a lot of enemies, and it's really good. Go to Flash Game License and bid on it and buy it for, for well, at least $8,000. Cool? Yep. <clears throat> yep, yep. Greetings, dear, from Monica William. Ooh, she sounds old. Maybe she can be my mommy. My ear hurts. Shut up, Max. Stop being a baby. I'm in, I'm in pain right now. Yeah, right. Can you? Well, you maybe you should stop trying to pierce your ears with lemons and ice. Mm. You need a twin sister to help you do that. You can't do that by your own. Mm. <laughs> my procaster just crashed, so they're gonna cry now. But they'll be back. My Why the hell is... is your internet so shitty today? I don't know. It happens sometimes. My name is Monica, and I saw your profile, and I became interested to make friends with you. Is this for you or me? I'm not sure. Seems like seems like a spam thing, to be honest. Oh. Let's see. No spamming. We don't like spam. Some friends are remembered because of their smile. Some friends are remembered because of their style. Style. Okay. <laughs> but okay. you are remembered because you are so nice to remember. Please, I would like to know more about you. Okay, if you can we don't contact have to me this. through email address here. I really look forward to reading from you soon. Thanks. Yours truly, Miss Monica. Okay, what what are what are we typing back? Hey, Miss Monica. Help me here. <sighs> Dear Miss Monica, you ruined our podcast. What's wrong with you? Please die. I miss you a lot, too. You are a great friend and still are a great friend. Ugh. I love you. Can't wait to hear back from you. Hugs and kisses. And, and then in parentheses, XOXO. No, that means XOXO. Uh, signed, you Tom and Max. S wink, smiley face. Why do you have to ruin everything? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> uh, Ryan Palmer, school problems. You know, let's think back of school for a second. That was a crazy time in my youth. Hey, are you ready? Can we? Can I start the email? I wasn't talking. Okay, I thought you. Okay. Hey guys, it's me, Ryan again. Ryan is a regular. We all know him, right guys? And I wanted to I, I wanted some advice. I'm starting my first year of high school. How old is that? Max? 14, 15. Gross. Gross. Was that gross? Ugh. And I wanted to know what route I should take. Either Max's badass rebel punk attitude or your Tom's no. unknown experience. Unknown experience. What the hell do you think he was like in high school? I was a pretty cute guy. Yeah. Listen, I was. here's what you do. Go to school, find the most popular, most well-loved student, and then just do everything that they do and copy them in every single way. And then and then on the next day go back to school and look at the, find the the most attractive female. And molest her. No. Oh. And that that that'll show everyone that you're on top. You're you're an alpha dog, and he, that you're a rough rider, and that she, he he's not one to mess with. And where Bandana is. All my pants are low riders. Okay. Uh, why I want to know this because I really look up to you guys. Aw. Come on, don't look up to us, especially not in like. Okay, I can understand him looking up to us, like, animation-wise, but don't look up to us because of our amazing social abilities. 
Ugh. It's probably probably not the best for you. I usually do have amazing social abilities, but not today because I'm very sick. Yeah, so I've heard. I've heard that you. <clears throat> oh God, really long email. One question and some fan art. This is like one long, one like run on sentence from Jessica Beale. Whoa, is that that famous girl, Jessica Beale? Wow. Beale. Wow. Mm. She made us fan art. Amazing. Okay, so I've been having this problem for a while now. I wanted to tell something I'm close to about it, like my mom. But she was too busy wrestling with this very odd man she met down at the bar. Okay, come on. Come on, guys. No jokes. Come on, guys. Yeah. Please do not try to be funny. <laughs> Unless you're Michael. I like I like it when you're funny. Who's uh, Michael? The guy that wrote about the bony knuckles. No, no bonies. Oh, so many bonies. Bony, that's gross. Is I'm it... bony, I'm bony, leave me alone. Ha <laughs> ha, check it out, wienerville.com. Is it bad when you have a minor blood squirting out of your buttocks? It... Okay, fuck you, shut up, fuck you. What? Was... Okay, I'm gonna read through it, and we're gonna, we're gonna point out everything that's really funny. <clears throat> Is it bad when you have minor blood squirting out of your buttocks at random times of the day? Oh, yeah, like that Don Hurts Felt film. Uh, my anus is bleeding! Ha <laughs> ha I know this question seems a little out there, but I have absolutely no one to ask. All the people in my school think I'm a freak because of this. Because he shares her, like, poopy blood with everyone. It makes it's a me girl or a dude? Uh, Jessica Beale. I assume it's a girl. This makes me want to do things I shouldn't be saying right now. Sometimes at school I leak through my pants... Leaving a very bloody pair of jeans in the laundry sack at the end of the day. I am extremely embarrassed to go out in public areas because of my pants I own already stained with dry blood. And my mom doesn't have enough money at the end of the month to go shopping for me. She would rather spend it on some whiskey at the LCBO downtown to relieve her stress. I've been having this anal problem for about two months. Please, if you had any sort of condition. So that was pretty funny, huh, guys? <clears throat> Remember, guys, you're not funny. No offense. You're not funny. Especially you, Jessica Beale. Fuck you. Jessica Beale lives in constant fear. She will run out of men run out of money. <laughs> Excuse me. Hollywood actress Jessica Beale has oh. revealed that she. Con